Hello, hello, bonjour everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril, I used to be a stem cell researcher and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And for today's video, we are going to talk about a very cool skincare ingredient, which is urea. And for whatever reasons, urea doesn't have a lot of hype around it, despite the fact that it has a lot and a lot of excellent uh, data and also many benefits for the skin. If you have not already watched my previous video about clean beauty, I have a whole, I would say, chapter where I talk about what is, in my opinion, a true natural ingredient. Very often what you hear, especially from uh, some bloggers and from big brands, is that a natural ingredient is necessarily an ingredient that is derived from the plant world, making you believe that this is more natural than another ingredient for whatever reasons. In my own reasoning, this makes absolutely no sense simply because we are animal, we are not plant and therefore any plant derived extract will not be necessarily compatible with our own physiology. And I think it makes a total sense. In the case of urea, this is what I call a true natural ingredient in the sense that it's naturally occurring in our body, but also on top of our skin. So in our body, we find it in the blood and then in uh, urine and urea is a waste from our metabolism. So when the cells are done with a protein, the protein are degraded into urea to put it in a very simple uh, way. On the skin, urea plays a major role. So we detect urea on the very top surface on the skin, in the skin barrier that we name in biology the stratum corneum. And the stratum corneum is made of dead skin cells that are named in biology corneocyte. And in between, we have a glue that is made of lipids. And those lipids are from three big family, the ceramide, the cholesterol and also the free fatty acid. And in those dead skin cells, they are packed with keratin and also natural humectants that we call natural moisturizing humectants. And in those natural humectants, 7% uh, of them is urea. So what is very interesting about urea is that depending on its concentration in a skincare, it could be either an excellent humectant and also at the same time an excellent keratolytic so an ingredient that is going to help to shed up, to shed out the top surface of your skin. So basically it is an exfoliant. And one of the advantages of urea compared to other one is that it is extremely gentle and it is also an excellent way to flake those dead skin cells in a very sensitive area, especially if you have super sensitive skin, if you have some skin disease like psoriasis, very dry skin, atopic dry skin. If you simply have children that have extremely uh, dry skin, urea is definitely one ingredient to consider. So when you look at the scientific literature, our skin bias, so the very last uh, layer of the skin, contain around 50% of water and this water is necessary for the skin elasticity. And this is something that you already know. Once you have washed your face, if you wait a little bit, all the water will evaporate because you have no longer those natural moisturizing factor to really like grab on this water and you feel that your skin is uh, super dry and not elastic and this is because all the water has just escaped your uh, skin and one way to replenish this water is obviously to use uh, your mectan so most often brands will promote uh, hyaluronic acid, which is an excellent humectant for sure. But if you look at just the biology of the skin barrier, there is almost no hyaluronic acid and the main humectants are amino acid and also uh, urea. Another aspect that is so interesting about urea is that it is also an excellent uh, exfoliant for the skin from the moment that is formulated from 10 and more percent. And you can find formula on the market up to 50% of uh, urea. And in higher concentration, it does uh, wonder, especially for those of you who have uh, super dry patches on your body. So I'm thinking, for example, about the lower part of the legs. Some people have super, super dry legs with a lot of uh, dry flakes and dry uh, scales. Simply by using one of those creams that contain a high percentage of urea can 
to uh, wonders. So like I have said, urea is also very beneficial for certain uh, dermatological uh, disease like uh, psoriasis, for example, uh, atopic skin, which is uh, extremely dry skin that is very frequent with children. Also to ill uh, fissures. I'm thinking uh, like on tip of your fingers, if you wash your hand a lot and you also spend a lot of time like outside, you can have like those uh, really big cracks and fissures on, on the tip of your finger that are also, that hurts a lot. Also for your foot, <laughs> urea will definitely help you uh, a lot. Again, if you are already using any dermatologic treatment, it is always better to ask your dermatologist because something that I always say, I am a blogger, even though I research a lot of my content from what is published in the scientific literature and I can criticize it, I will never be able to give you a diagnostic and even if I was a dermatologist I would not be able to tell you on YouTube that you have this skin condition or this one so it is always better to go and ask your dermatologist about any um, skin issue especially when it is a disease. So now in terms of uh, products so the first two that I'm going to show you does not contain urea but they contain a derivative of urea that I believe have some of the benefits of urea even though I am not sure of it but still both of them are amazing product that really will replenish the skin with uh, water. So it is Hydroxy Exil Urea and the two that I want to show you are from my beloved Adelabo. So the first one is the Premium Lotion and also the Perfect Gel. So those two contain this ingredient, I think in the second or third uh, position, something like that. So it is quite concentrated and indeed when you are using uh, those two products, you will really see that your skin is noticeably uh, more plump upon application, which is an excellent sign that the water is really attracted in your skin. So the next product is a very simple formula, but at the same time so efficient and also excellent, especially if you have super dry uh, skin and you have a major impairment of the skin barrier. It is uh, this one from the French brand SVR from the Xerial. This is the one for the um, uh, fissures and crevasses. This is the seven day repairing and protecting cream. And this one contains 5% of urea. So it is not a crazy amount. So therefore it is not going to peel your skin, but this one will definitely balance your skin. So the texture is not like the best one on planet earth, but it is still pretty pleasant to use. It is also a fragrance free formula. It doesn't contain any botanical extra that might trigger uh, allergic reaction. If you are starting any uh, treatment or changing treatment, whether by using a high strength uh, retinol, I'm thinking about, of course, 1% retinol, such as the one from Polite Choice that I love so much, or even uh, because you have a lot of photo damage or you are simply more mature, you have to the option of tretinoid. This cream as a supportive moisturizer is an excellent choice. So the next product that I'm going to show you this time contains 30% of uh, urea. This is again from the same brand, French brand SVR. This is the Xerial 30. And this one is uh, the cream that is dedicated for the feet. This is the Nutri Repair 24 Moisturizing calysis uh, prevention. Again, the formula is very well done, especially considering the concentration of urea. Usually when you play with those products with 30 to uh, even 50% of urea, they are quite, I would say, uh, tacky upon application, but this one is very well done. I would not recommend it to use it on your face or be very careful. However, for the body, it is an excellent one, as I would say, a spot treatment. So for example, for your feet, obviously, if you have super dry skin, uh, super dry feet, I mean, this one is excellent. Also for your elbows or your knees, when you have like really uh, dry and rough skin, this one is excellent. It is also an excellent one for uh, the lower part of the legs, like I said. So any area where you have a lot of super dry and flaky skin, this is definitely the product to choose. Again, the formula is extremely safe. It doesn't have any perfume, any dyes, any botanical extract that uh, may trigger allergic uh, reaction. And like I have said, if you want a beauty tip and you simply want to have beautiful feet without worrying to have to exfoliate them and etc., 
try this cream and even the one that contain 50% uh, of urea. So before I end this video, a little tip to how to use um, those cream with a very high concentration of urea because they are usually a little bit uh, tacky and you also need a lot to coat your skin. An excellent way to use them is to use plenty of it, for example, on your feet and immediately put on a soak and you go to bed. This is um, the way that I like to use them. Still keep in mind that if you take, for example, your shower in the morning, every time that you take a shower, that you put water on every part of your body, you need to apply a moisturizer um, just uh, after. So if you choose to do it again in the morning, what I would do is to use those very uh, thick cotton socks. You apply a lot of it, you then wear the socks for at least 20 minutes and then you remove them and you put, I would say, more elegant uh, socks. The whole idea is that the cotton will soak some of the cream and like this, it won't be too uh, greasy and you will have amazing with us uh, with this one. Also, this cream on the hands, especially when you have a super dry skin because you have washed your hands, far too often like I do, this one you will see will be amazing. So comment down below and tell me if you have ever tried Urea for whatever reason, it doesn't have a, uh, a lot of hype around it, but it definitely should. I thank you so, so much for watching me. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of quiz on my story about, of course, skincare as always. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Au revoir.